my name is Nathan Lesh, I'm Gary Jones, Santa Cruz to Jacksonville, Florida. I'm going to give a brief overview of the main features and uh, basic operations of the MIG welded. So right here we have a MIG machine. Um, the MIG is a uh, is a wire feed system. So as you can see internally, you have a big spool of wire for welding. And this motor right here, it feeds the wire through this hose and into your grip. And as you push this button, it feeds the wire as well as releases gas. So whenever it releases the gas, you have a argon carbon dioxide mixture. What this does is it aids in the welding process, keeps the welds cleaner. If you don't have this gas, the welds are going to be really spattery and uh, inconsistent. Um, whenever you uh, set the pressures, you're going to set the pressure between 15 and 20 liters per minute. The MIG system is pretty versatile and uh, extremely user friendly. It's basically drawing with a pencil. Um, pull this trigger, feeds the wire into the weld, and releases the gas. At the same time, all you have to do is make sure it's grounded out. There we have our ground cable. And right here, you have your on-off switch. Um, right here, this first dial up here is the wire feed. So you have a, a wide variety or wide range of uh, wire feed speeds. Um, and what the wire feed speed does is it, it introduces more wire into your weld to get a bigger bead. Um, and down here, you have your bolts, which is your temperature initially. Um, the higher the bolts, the higher the temperature. So if you wanted to have a, a large um, hot weld, I mean, you do it at the highest settings. Um, and then you, you just have to determine what voltage and speed you want it on for the size weld. Thank you for watching my video on 